This is an updated version on the lecture of field of vision. Now we have here in the Humphrey Visual Field Index and this is available in another presentation. I'm going to write you the link down in the description. What about two, these two parameters in the Humphrey? We have the glaucoma hemifield test and the octopus we have the baby curve. Let's start here by the glaucoma hemifield test. It's written, it's outside normal limits. The glaucoma hemifield test, it's a way to compare mirror image of areas up above the horizontal line with corresponding area below the horizontal line. So we are comparing area 5 with area 5, area 3 with area 3. So this way can detect changes even before the appearance of a scotoma. Normally it should be up and down, should be within the same range. So it's a mirror image analysis of five pairs of zones. It can help to detect early glaucoma even before any other field changes. In this example, it's written for us here, glaucoma hemifield test is outside normal limits. One of these five things will be written, outside normal limit or borderline or generalized reduction in sensitivity or abnormally high sensitivity or within normal limits. Outside normal limit is written when one of these five zones and comparing one up and one down, the value, the difference between the up and down is found in only one, in one less than 1% 1 of the normal population. If the difference between one zone up and down is found between 1 to 3% of the population, we get the term borderline. Abnormally low or abnormally high sensitivity is written when the best, uh, uh, the best sensitive part, the best, the best value of the, these all numbers, when this best value is higher than the average, the normal population, it occurs only, if it occurs only in half percent of the normal population, then it is written abnormally high. If the best value of the patient is located here in only half percent of the low part of the normal population, we get abnormally low. So abnormally low sensitivity means that the best point is occur in half percent of the normal population low, Abnormally high means that this be best point occurs in half percent of the normal population. Within normal, then it is within the range. What about the BB curve or the defect curve or the cumulative defect curve? This curve is named after the authors who suggested their names was PB. They get the values of all the points. This is the normal range. They arrange the values from the best to the lowest. And this line represents the values of the patient. So this location is depressed by 5, say this location is depressed by 10, this location is depressed by 16. So we have the values and the add the differences here. In this example, this plus sign, depression is minimal, so it is on this side of the curve. Then this 7 here, this 13 there, 
there's 22 there so regardlessly anatomical location of the test value they just arrange them from the best to the worst minimal depression to maximum depression So values are arranged from value number one to value location number one to location number 95, 59, and the depression is written here. The blue part here represents the normal. The normal zero, it can be plus five, minus five, around the zero. So this is the whole range of the normal population. I don't like this uh, test for, for something because actually they arrange the numbers regardless if they are group of numbers or isolated. In glaucoma, we usually depend on group at least of three points to say that this is our value, but individual numbers uh, has no effect. So all these abnormals are, re are shown up here regardless they are in a group or single. When we are in the normal range, the line is in blue. If it's below the normal, then it will be in red. So this part, these values are normal, not depressed. Then we have some depression, this, we have market depression. Sometimes you can see this number below the curve. It is an estimation of the mean deviation of the loss. We have here a generalized defect and here we have a localized defect. So the mean deviation of the generalized defect is written here. As you can see here, this is the normal range. This part, this is the normal. This part here is parallel to the normal, so this represents a diffuse defect of the field. While starting from here, this is not parallel to the original normal, so this is localized defect. This part of the defect is generalized. This part of the defect is localized. So this is the normal. This example is a diffuse defection. This is normal. This is pure localized. This is diffuse and this part is localized. This is advanced. This is happy trigger patient better than the normal. This is affection localized in half of the field, 50%, 50%. This is localized changes in one quarter of the field. In the new software, they start to get us print of clusters. They group numbers, locations, and calculate the average. So we see the defect for the, the cluster and they calculate the average of this defect. You notice here we have probability of occurrence 5%, less than 5% or less than 1%. Probability less than 5% means that this value is likely to show up in one out of two normal fields. Probability 1% means that this value is likely to show up in one of 10 normal fields. So here plus probability is better than 5, this is normal. The yellow here less than 5 means that it's probability to appear in one out of two normal fields while the red probability less than one it this value is probable to appear in one out of ten normal persons so the cluster will give us impression about probabilities and this is give us better information than individual location this is available in the new software 
lastly we need to check for any identification of artifacts this is an example of rem artifact the rem of the frame you get values here zero and then everything is normal this is abnormal this will show us that this we have a rem artifact the clover leaf defect patient will show here central part in each quadrant is fine then the periphery is affected this uh, get this name uh, normally this is the shape of the plant with three leaves but rarely you can have four leaves and this is known as the four clove leaf so this will appear if the patient in the field start each quadrant start by the central location and then other points are affected so the patient was paying attention in the early stages and everything is fine here but start to lose attention when the test is going on more and more so this means that the patient is was not paying much attention during the test we have to keep in mind about the fatigue effect so the test should be carried out in a quiet room. Patient should be seated in a comfortable position as he's going to sit for a long time. Advise the patient to have a good night's sleep. Encourage the patient to have uh, regular intervals to close the eyes. and he can apply artificial tears if he needs also encourage the patient for a brief rest to close the eyes for relaxation he can press the button test will stop till he remove his finger then the test will carry, be carried on again.